I say, look, if you say this matter, we consign strike, we have to go. So if you say federal government don't want to take a very, very light, they don't want to take a light, no, they will take reserve out. And for that, say they won't carry this strike action for head. In fact, say they go protest. They go protest to ensure say, at least they support us for whatever uh, decision and what the way that they seek for. So that at least we go feed those say we get direction where they head to. And based on that, uh, the whole protest matter don't kick off. And as I mean, NRC also come out and say, say this is just the beginning, no? Say if by the time, if by the time we do not see any response, say they go do it, they go carry it under bigger action. We got to do with them, um, you know, and um, protest on top of this Asu matter. From there, we we'll also enter into another burning issue right now. Senate, they hot right now. I want to be that way, they hot for Senate. National Assembly, they hot. All these things are many more. I want to go look into today's edition of As in the Hot. My name is Nabasi Chen. My name remains Unkobi. Uh, oh, you talk, say what a man can do, a woman can do, and even better. Bam. Uh, we get senior woman for the Nigeria Labour Congress. Comrade Agnes Fumi Sesi, she go join us to chuck mouth inside the Waka where we say the Nigeria Labour Congress uh, don't carry Waka as it take consign. This is their solidarity rally with the Academic Staff Union of University. Say federal government must settle this matter of strike inside the Bodo Nigeria. Maybe we just go straight into the conversation. Comrade, I look at you. I salute you. Welcome to our city heart. Solidarity forever. Wow. Solidarity forever. Mo could always time coming. Mo could just go straight. Um, the Nigeria Labour Congress will not tell us. Say 26 and 27. Then go check the foundation of this country for good, bro. Mm -hmm. So that government, when they do could not head since, then go hear what and do the needful to take uh, solve the problem of ASU strike when done they on since February 14. Exactly five months and 13 days. Make I ask you, comrade. Uh, with what did NLC do for the state capitals across Nigeria yesterday and for the federal capital territory today? Una think say Una don't pass strong message to the federal government. Uh, yes, uh, the handwriting is written on the wall. And government, they are not also blind and they are not deaf. They have seen the handwriting on the wall that for once, Nigerians are tired of this government, uh, backward government. Workers are tired of this government that is dragging this country backward. Parents are tired. The students are tired of this government. And also, the government themselves, the leadership of the government, the president, has also heard his own uh, mind to Nigerians recently that he is tired and that he cannot wait for his government to, for him to complete his tenure, to hand over to the new government. So this is just a wake up call to the government. But once you are pursuing a snake, a snake will run away from you naturally. But when he gets to a stage that he also needs to salvage his own life, it might become dangerous. Mm. At this level, we want to state it clearly to the government that Nigerians are tired of this administration that is believed of idea mm. on how to take Nigeria to a destination of pride. Mm. But as the president, we don't know whether it was an erroneous mistake or he meant it actually, but this is playing out. He said from top to bottom, top to bottom and actually he has dragged nigeria from top to the bottom that is where the position of nigeria is right now okay so comrade uh, make, com comrade make i ask you this question now you don't be very very clear on the message where the nigeria labor congress sent go give the federal government and uh, importantly yesterday for lagos as they gather for ikeja on that bridge called the waka they go uh, the government house uh, the Baba Febi Falano joined them. Bam. This is where you talk now, uh, as you the near the close of your talk. Baba Febi Falano talk and say, Okay, President, don't come out, talk, say, the team don't tire them. Even though some of him people don't talk, say, the tire no be say, he no, he no tire for the work and he won't run. Now say, as, as in body day like that, uh, the work don't reach one point where we say the team be like, say, he, he de stress. Make we even allow people here waiting, Baba Femi Falano talk. As he take consign 
the talk when Oga president talk about tiredness. From there, I will come gather my question. Give our able comrade when on Jonas Otto of us in the hut today. They have said that it's anxious to go back to Kansina. We are asking to rush back home yes. and leave Nigeria in peace. Yes. The president is tired. Boko Haram boys are taking over Abuja. Yes. Yesterday there was another attack. But they were going to attack the law school. They killed about three soldiers yesterday. We are telling the government that enough is enough. Enough of killing of our people. Enough of strength in our tertiary institutions. Put uh, down your mic now. For Nigerians, and for workers, we want to thank workers. What you have demonstrated today is your capacity to take power in Nigeria. Yes. And you must be ready. Yes, ready. Be prepared yes, to snatch power from the enemy yes, from our people. Yes, so let them stop deceiving our people. Yes, and there is no money. We are with you. They see of them about 400. We call them toxic loans. 5.4 trillion is old now. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. This government claimed that it wants to spend 6.5 trillion. On the importation of SM and uh, PMS. We are saying this is fraudulent. We are saying this is unacceptable. We are saying this is corruption. Comrade, I'm leaving you with one word. Please, President Buhari, collect money from 10 of your people, 10 looters, to resolve this problem. One of them was charged on Friday last week. Okay? The man has told him 409 billion. One person, one person. And there are others who have stolen more. And there are others who are stealing more. You know, recently in Abuja, they were using dollars to bribe delegates. We have more dollars in Nigeria than America. Yes. America is a cashless economy. Don't see that uh, talk where we say, Baba Femi Fala, no talk. This one, uh, when they gather, the para, yesterday say, Nalayo, for those when they watch us for house, <laughs> I tell you, I said, a strong comrade, now we carry you. If you now watch that video, the person will stand next to Baba Femi Falano, yes, now. Now our comrade, when they follow us, discuss. So, when we talk, say, now the people, when they stand chin, now we carry cup, now we carry cup. Comrade, make I come comrade, make can't give you this question now. You stand by the right of Baba Femi Falano. You, you, your ear, hear all the things when we say in talk yesterday. Now, the gist when they go around, there's no way to get president not talk and say the work, not tired around. But make I ask you, Oga president last week been give a minister for education two weeks to resolve this issue. As NLC, Una no think say, as Oga president don't step into the arrangement, don't give them two weeks. In two weeks, they go solve this problem. I mean, I see the look and say, who don't tire, don't tire, nothing go happen. Well, uh, thank you very much. The federal government, from their own part, the president Buhari told us that we should give him two weeks. Okay. That the committee will now wrap up and conclude the negotiation. That two weeks came from him when NLC gave him the ultimatum to conclude the agreement and the renegotiation or else we come out on a peaceful protest rally. We will now know whether this government, you know, told sold lies to NLC or whether they actually mean their words when they said they needed two weeks to conclude. I think enough of ground has been given to the government for the past five months now. They have been on this issue of uh, wrapping up the negotiation. And yet, we have seen that this government is food dragging. President Buhari came out to start appealing to uh, ASU and to other workers in the tertiary institution to, you know, we look at it that he is trying to, you know, drag this issue so that he can hand over the government to the next uh, 
to the next uh, administration. Yeah, to the next administration. That is what he is trying to do. But we will tell him that eight months is still far away. He has said he's tired. If he is tired, there is nowhere in the constitution of Nigeria that stipulates or we force him to complete the administration, to complete his tenure. If he is tired and he cannot resolve the issues and let our students go back to school and also resolve the issues that the government freely, the agreement, the negotiation, they enter into bargain, collective bargaining agreement. They enter into with the workers in the tertiary institution. Mm. Definitely, this is just the beginning of the end of this administration. Mm. Okay, comrade, eh? quick one, make I ask you. Um, before I actually issue at least, when I issue this particular statement of saying I go, go on um, you know, a warning protest, um, the Minister of uh, Informate, that is our guy, Lai Mohammed, come and come talk, say, see, say, make labor, make an amend myself, who say, we're not concerned now with, uh, uh, with um, ASU. Say, ASU, uh, if, say, they, say, they try to sort out their matter. Say, for labor, say, you know, concern now to say that they carry under person matter for head. I'm looking at this particular e statement issued out by the, the Minister of um, um, the Informate. Say, you think, say, you think, say, looking at say, think, say, perhaps, the government will still take on a serious or to say, if not like, we will still go in the protest. I will go still do things the way we will go do them at our own convenient time. Say, she said this particular um, protest, we are protest today uh, and yesterday as well. She said, say, he carried that um, strong weight. We go feel make government talk, say, okay, oh, ah, we don't want trouble. We quickly resolve this matter so that everybody will go back to their schools. Uh, thank you very much. Well, I will not be surprised. If this is coming out from um, the mouth of those who are supposed not to make such statements. Because even the president himself, President Buhari, in the past, when the, the past administration was still there, he always come out to identify with the labor. Mm -hmm. He always come out on a peaceful, to stage a peaceful protest with the workers against the administration then. So during his own administration, nobody can tell us that we cannot exercise our, 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 our rights. In the constitution of Nigeria, they should show us, um, the minister, like Mohammed, should show us where it is written that the workers should not come out to exercise their constitutional rights. If the government is sincere enough this is not what this uh, president promised Nigerians. This is not what he promised the workers. He had an agreement with us, and he reneged on the agreement. The agreement is that let us vote him into office to come and right all the wrongs of the past administration, to come and make Nigeria to be an enviable uh, uh, nation out of all the committees of all nations, to make Nigeria to be the best amongst the equal. But what do we have today? He reneged on that agreement. This administration is a deceitful administration. And since when he has not stepped into the office, he is also holding the past administration, you know, to, 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 to exercise his own uh, human rights. We are also doing the same thing that he has done in the past. We are also doing it. We have the right to checkmate the administration. Mm -hmm. In the United Kingdom recently, the, 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 the citizens, they checkmated their prime minister to the extent that he resigned from the office. So the same thing, we, Nigerians can also exercise their right. The National Assembly can exercise its right. The poor masses can also exercise our rights. So if the government is not doing the right thing, our voice should be the exercising of our rights. Very and true. that is exactly what we are doing now. Handwriting is on the wall. For this government to know that this is the beginning of their end, if they fail to listen to the voice of the reasoning. Hmm. And the voice of the reasoning is that people who are oppressed and suppressed, he who is down, need fear no fall. True. Comrade. Only very few people are having the wealth of this country with them. 
And it's supposed to be a common wealth. United Kingdom have a common wealth. And there are communities of nations that have common wealth. And they are sharing this wealth to touch all their citizens. Hmm. If Nigeria cannot share this wealth to touch every of the citizens, but to suffocate some of the citizens to the extent that some of Nigerians are now, you know, living in depression. They have been so suppressed and so subjected to pains, to, to situations that is on, untold hardship, that very, very soon, Nigerians are only waiting for, for leadership to take, you know, to take a directive. And they're always looking up onto NLC to do it for them. Very true. We comrade, sector. Co comrade, the examples when we say... But governments know that this country economically has gone down. Nigerians are angry. Uh, co comrade. Security-wise, Nigeria is nowhere. Co comrade. Nigerians are angry. Comrade, comrade, make I ask you, make I ask you this question. All the points where you don't raise, now points where we say they're very, very valid. Or, or less person when we say, you know, they live for this country. Or the person they benefit from, say, uh, the country, not favor the masses of the people. Now, the person go talk, say, all the things where you talk, no correct. But what would they do on top of as in the heart? Aside from discussing the problems, as in the pain Nigerians, based on saying the heart, now to also proffer solutions. You even there, there, when you even collect microphone, when you talk, say, if in two weeks, you know, say, President Mount Wally been talking, oh, say, two weeks, so, NLC can even be like, say, when I even give them an additional room to solve the problem. You can also talk, say, what thing happened during answers? The thing will become like child's play for this particular matter. Uh, anybody will know what happened that time. No, go on, make that kind of thing happen again. Whether you argue on the part of government or you argue on the part of the people, make we discuss solution to this particular problem. Uh, comrade, we go like make you tell us uh, if 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 President Mohamed why they watch this show now? What we know saying they watch because then they watch this show based on as in the heart. What will be the advice when you go give the minister for education? The Minister for Labor, the Minister for Information, and President Mohamed Buhari to solve this issue when we face today within this two weeks period. Thank you very much. All the issue of contention is in their domain. Hmm. They know all these issues and they have all the issues. Baba Femi Falano, the senior advocate of the poor masses, hmm. he has given them a subtle advice yesterday for them to have a soft landing. All the monies that they have, you know, collected or withdrawn from uh, corrupt officials, including 109 billion naira, that is with Idris Ahmed, the uh, the sad uh, uh, accountant general of the country. Let them collect all this money and use it to fund education. Let them use it to improve and increase the quality of education in Nigeria. Um, honestly speaking, the Minister of Labor, the Minister of Education, uh, if the president does not have the final say to give the clear directive to them, if the president is not willing and is not ready to resolve this issue, there is little that these ministers can do because they will just be looking at him for the resolution of the whole matter. I wonder if the president will actually want this problem to be solved. Uh, I, I don't really want to say so many things, but let's look at the antecedent of most of our, our leaders. Do they actually go to school or mm. they help them to obtain their certificates? Mm. If actually they attended the school and the school passed through them, they should know that what we are having now, the kind of education they, we are having now in Nigeria is not what they should be proud of. And not only that, Femi Falano said it yesterday that when most of them that are in government, they attended the school together at the same time, that during their time when they went to school, there was scholarship. There was bus free allowances. Government was feeding them. Go government was funding them. Government, immediately you come out of the university, work is already waiting for you. I will take care. And everything is there for them. But now those who use that ladder, the same ladder they used to climb up, they have removed it. Mm. So that the children poor masses will not be able to have education in Nigeria. We not have qualitative education. We not be able to match up to their own children that they are sending abroad to go and have education. How long do we need to continue to do this? 
If our president is believed of idea, if he cannot put the technocrats to solve all the problems in the educational sector, definitely it's a failure. The box stops on the table of the president. And whatever the failure in any aspect, is it the president that will bear the brunt of the failure in any sector? And that is why we are talking about the leadership. Mm. We should ensure that the leaders that we have in the country, those who are to lead us, they should be people that value education. They should be people that value good life and welfare of other people, not thinking only about themselves, not thinking only about very few cabals that they are running the government, not thinking about their own ethnicity, not thinking about their religion, mm. not dividing us along the line, or in all what I've mentioned. Very true, comrade. So, I want to advise the president. It's an advice. Femi mm. Falakmo, senior advocate, has told him all those money that you have recovered and recoup from uh, 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 corrupt officials, where have you kept them? Mm. Very important they question. Stop to borrow money, but they should apply the God giving a, a, a gift to Nigeria. Mm. The, the, the abundance of everything that God has given us. God has been so kind to this country. But our leaders are wasteful. Mm. They are prodigal children. Mm. And in fact, education is a particular sector that government should even invest in. Very true. Because a nation that fails to educate citizens is sitting on a keg, keg of gunpowder. That is why we are having... A, 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 from a particular region where education is not taken seriously, we are having bandits from that particular region. Mm. Because they fail to educate them. They fail to expose them. They fail to let them see the reason why the country must thrive without having uh, 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 all this uh, 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 banditry, terrorism, and all this issue. Very true. Now, comrade, you can see how the system is functioning. Very true. You comrade. can see how functioning. It is because of the cocoa money mm. during our world. Mm -hmm. And he used it to pursue education for the Southwest Very and true. for the South. Comrade, comrade the, the Aluta spirit, the Aluta, the Aluta spirit don't come out. I don't see him, it don't come out. This place where we don't reach now, with the advice where you don't give government a good place to just uh, press pause. Because as, 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 as you they talk, people go see the passion. Say education when they're very, very important. Now he can be like say some people no care and they know they pay attention to them. And like you don't mention some of the problems when they see now because of say education from the very beginning people no pay attention to them. Thank you very much, uh, comrade. Our comrade now the chairperson of the Nigerian Labour Congress for Inside Lagos. We know say time not to plenty because you do, since you since yesterday from protest to meeting to pro thank you very much comrade may thank the spirit you, of Aluta I mean, continue to reign and may the fire continue to burn thank, thank you comrade you. As to the host, let me use this opportunity to commend the governor of lagos state Sonwolu. okay you can see that uh, lasso lagos state university they are still the academic calendar is running as a uh, 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 schedule yes so it is not that all is Uhuru or, or he has met all their demands or whatever, but the governor is, you know, operating an open door policy. I still want to wish and I still want to encourage him to do more in the aspect of education mm -hmm. in Lagos State. And he has started well. Our College of Education is now University of Education. That is the yearning of Lagosians. Mm. Our, uh, our Polytechnic, Lagos Polytechnic is now is now a university of science and technology mm. let them deploy so much of uh, 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 equipment learning materials and also ensure the welfare of the workers there so that at least what other region failed to do what other governors failed to do what the president failed to do the center of excellence lagos state mm. let them record a huge success in education Make Lagos State education to be the best so that even from West Africa and Africa, let people come to Lagos to come and study. Very true. This Thank you very much, comrade. My, my demand to Lagos State Governor Sawolu, you are trying. Very true, comrade.
Comrade, thank you very much. Thank Say you, you, very don't, much, you don't talk the matter finish. Our people waiting for us. I don't hear from the chairperson of the Nigerian Labour Congress for inside Lagos. Comrade Agnes Fumi Sesi, she don't talk, talk. You could even tell the passion. And Nasi said, this one not be say person they talk because in just they vex. So Nasi said, she commend the governor of Lagos State, Governor Sawolu. She said, Lasu, they go on. Schools for here, they go on because even though they never still meet everything, you know, at least he try, he try past the other ones. And he don't even give up some kind of idea when he go do.